you very much. Now, this morning, we're going all Phil Linnett, Samba style. Yes, you did hear right. It's ahead of Phil Linnett's birthday this coming Saturday, the 20th of August. And uh, we're joined this morning by Mass Samba. And here to tell us more about this unusual connection is Simon Smith. Good morning to you. How are you, Alan? What has Mass Samba got to do with Phil Linnett? Well, Phil Linnett's father allegedly was Brazilian, so we decided to kind of extend that theme out a little bit. Very loose connection. Very loose connection. <laughs> But you know, we're I suppose we're trying to represent the music of Phil Innett and Tin Lizzy, but you know, using a Brazilian angle. But we will also have uh, a Tin Lizzy tribute band on the day, you know, who will be as authentic as they come. So basically, it is just a celebration of Phil in Dublin this coming Saturday, and the fact that uh, Masamba are part of the whole thing. So tell us about what's going to happen. Well, uh, the show is in two parts. Uh, we're going to have a, a stationary part with the uh, Phil Innett uh, tunes and the Tin Lizzy tunes outside the Gaiety Theatre. Uh, the band are called Remembering Lizzy, and each section of dancers is themed to a particular Thin Lizzy song. So they'll play the songs, the dancers will have a, a choreography, and then we're going to do a parade down Grafton Street and back up, stop at the Phil Innett statue on Harry Street, and then return to the Gaiety Theatre again and repeat the songs with, you know, the, the drummers, the dancers, and the rock band. Sounds like an absolutely great time. It starts at six o'clock and runs. It's an hour and a half. So from six o'clock on Saturday, if you're in Dublin, up around the Gaiety, all around Grafton Street, that's the place to be. Yeah, and it's a free event. So, you know, there's, there's no excuse not to come along. Dublin City Council are funding it along with Universal Records. So uh, we can provide this event free on the street. Um, so, yeah, if people are around the city, um, they'll definitely hear us coming. But, you know. Yeah, certainly <laughs> will. Because it's very low at the moment. We're going to really give you some taste of it in a moment. Moment. But tell us a little about Masamba then. Well, Masamba's been going for 17 years. Uh, we're a Samba school. 17? 17, yes, since 94. Uh, and we've been going here in Dublin. We've been representing Brazilian culture. We work closely with the Brazilian community here in Ireland. Um, and we do a lot of festivals and events around the country. And this is, uh, for us, this is great because it's our own event. We can tailor it to our own needs. How many members do you have? Uh, we have about 25 drummers. We have a youth band of young uh, drummers as well. And then we work with maybe, over the year, 30, 40 dancers. It's incredible. It looks, the costumes and everything looks absolutely... And so the type of things that you play at Performa? Uh, things like the Drogheda Samba Festival, the St. Patrick's Festival, uh, Culture Night will be a big night for us usually. Uh, usually we do something in Temple. You travel overseas representing Ireland, Samba overseas? Yes, actually we're going to Chicago in October uh, to headline a, a Brazilian music festival over there. So as soon as we get this project over, it's got to be right into the planning for that. Okay, well all the details of uh, websites and stuff have come up on your screen so you can find out more information on that. But uh, we do want to see us perform, so take it away. Masamba. Thank you, Alan.